So I just took this machine in on trade. This is a snapper commercial lawnmower. All the control cables appear to be working. The starter recoil, the guy tried to fix it and uh, ended up taking it apart, which he shouldn't have done. He ended up screwing up the coil inside the coil spring. I tried taking it apart again. He had lost one of the springs for the uh, nubs that shoot out, but uh, wasn't able to fix it. So I've got the uh, redneck way to start this thing, minus using a drill, which I might use just in case if this doesn't seem to work. But we're gonna give this thing a start. And first, what we're gonna do is put some oil in it because it's low. So really quickly, I'm gonna tip it over for you guys so you guys can see the underside. The blade is in really good condition. Now this thing is pretty oily. So I'm assuming that there's a, probably an issue with the valve cover gasket is leaking or something. Maybe, maybe the top seal on underneath the flywheel is leaking. It's kind of hard to say, but let's tip it over. You guys can see that. That blade is in really good condition, nice and sharp. Everything looks okay down here, uh, even that V-belt for the self-propelled looks to be in decent shape too but let's check the oil yeah she's low not even hardly showing on the dipstick so we're gonna dump some in I know that this isn't the correct viscosity. It's 5W30. Normally you can use 10W30 in most engines. I don't know about the Subaru, it's a Robin, but if it's like anything else, it's probably really similar to Hondas and whatnot. So we're gonna let that drain in, Let's see where we're at. There's only about 10 ounces of oil in that thing, so and my main hope is, is this thing wasn't run uh, too low on oil for too long. The guy mentioned he had it for five years. He'd gotten it from his father-in-law. So I could only hope that it's okay. So what's interesting about this model, as you guys can see, it's got an external oil filter. That's very standard when uh, it comes to commercial machines. So uh, we're gonna probably have to get a new oil filter too. No big deal. Let's see what's gonna happen. We're gonna try and start this thing. I might have to redo that pull cord a couple times to get it started, but I'm gonna check the level one more time. Just a tad full, but that's all right. We're not gonna run it for that long. All right, so I'm gonna pull it.
so that's not bad. Runs really good. No indication of any oil burning. So the rings are probably fine. We just gotta deal with that oil leak. So I'm gonna have to order some parts for this thing. Probably a tune-up kit. Definitely gonna have to get it, have to get a new wheel for it. And uh, it seems like it should go a little bit lower, like down to here. But for whatever reason, it doesn't want to go all the way. So there's probably something blocking it. Piece of debris, maybe, not sure. So we'll have to look at that too.